2001 Chevy S10 with the V6. This car has actually been on my channel before. Uh, Chevy S10 bucking diagnosis, I believe it was. That was the last time this car has actually been worked on, as I understand it. And that was quite a while ago. So I wonder if the oil's been changed. Uh, 10, 1, 14. Okay, so they've been in it after that. So, anyways, what we're, what we're looking at today is, originally the customer said that the heat had stopped working, like it was moving hot air, but just not very much of it. So, you know, something with a blower motor, blower motor resistor probably. And over the last couple days, it got worse. So now there's no instrumentation, and there's no blower motor at all. So that's with the key on. The radio still works. But yeah. Here a relay clicking, but I got nothing else. And of course it does start and run. No tack, no nothing. We get... We get nothing. Not even oil pressure. So... Okay, it's gotta be a fuse, right? I checked all these fuses. And they're good. So it's probably something under the hood. But when I pull this... Oh, you just, you did not. Looks like it just worked. I've been trying to get this hood open for the last 10 minutes. I guess I just had to lean on it just right. Cool, well. Now we can get a look at some stuff. So, I started pulling the dash apart, and as I was pulling the instrument cluster out, I had the key on, you know, wiggling, checking the harness, and stuff started working. So, upon further review, this is the connector body. And you can see that there's a PC board in here, you know, a circuit card. So, we're going to disassemble this and see what we got. It didn't lift any pads.
feel it click. So I hear the mixing flap moving, so that leaves us with just the fan speed. Have we removed this? <clears throat> yes, and actually for you Blazer and S10 owners, there's just two screws that hold this in, which I've already removed, and then it's, you'll notice, well, it's now it's clipped back in, but it'll still be tight in here unless somebody's broken it ahead of time, but you squeeze these little tabs and pull out slightly on each corner. And then you can just slide the, the whole thing out. And we'll... Uh, so what if we try yeah, wiggle a little mat or... Well, I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself. I want to put the cluster back in all the way first. Okay. <laughs> I'm really good at that. Okay, so now we're going to test basically the switch and whether or not we're getting power. So brown is our accessory power to the heater system. Turn the key on. And I am showing battery voltage. So we're good there. And then orange is fan speed 4, which actually jumps a relay. So I'm going to take this and touch it to orange. I hear the relay clicking. Which means that our problem is actually going to be out there with the heater system. So it seems to me that this switch is okay. And that is the case. So. We will continue our troubleshooting session out there. Fan speed 4 was fixed by replacing this fuse. There was a 10 amp fuse and a 30 amp fuse hole. So now that that's sorted out, we still don't have the first three speeds. So now we gotta figure that out. That's gonna be fun. Um, now we tested power to this brown wire here earlier. We're gonna test the power again with that fan speeds one through three selected and see if the voltage drops out. All right, so we've got a bad thermal cutout here on the blower motor resistor pack. That one's good. That one's good. That one does not show continuity. And that goes to terminal number two. And that's the main output to the blower. So what I'm going to do just to test this theory is bridge across the bad cutout. So I'm going to go solder that up. I'll be right back. So this is what turned out to be the problem. This is the resistor pack for the blower motor. And where this is in the car is actually mounted to the heater box 
and after the fan takes in fresh air or air from inside the car it'll blow across this before it goes to the heat exchanger whether that be the uh, AC evaporator or the heater core itself and so these are basically just coils of wire when you coil up a wire after a certain length of wire it gives you a little bit of resistance and so they use like this longer coil here to get a lower speed and then this like medium length coil is probably medium and these are probably the highest speed because it's going to be the path of lowest resistance and actually see all these are fine they're not burned or damaged or anything and there's no broken connections but there's these in here and these are thermal cutout switches and so there's a couple for a couple different speeds but then there's this one here and this terminal is actually the main output terminal to go to the blower motor and so it looks like to select different speeds they kind of just add all the resistances together but uh, regardless this one was blown and you can test that by setting your voltmeter or your multimeter to resistance and these should read zero ohms if it's blown out it'll read open circuit uh, if you, you can also use the diode test, you know, the beeper for continuity, and that'll tell you the same thing. But this one was open circuit, and it sucks because this part's probably like 79 cents. So I could, could spend 79 cents and go get one. I do not recommend bridging over these. These are a safety, safety feature to prevent fires. Um, if this wasn't here, this could turn into a glowing fire starter. Glows if the motor shorts out gets hot enough that the wire actually drops and you have molten metal flying around inside your heater box and then all that fumes come out at you. So you could actually just buy a little part and replace this. This In this particular instance it was only 20 bucks for a whole replacement unit from the auto parts store with a lifetime warranty. So I figured hey why not, you know $20, that's a lot less money than what you would normally spend on a part at the auto parts store. So. <laughs> Guess we kind of lucked out on that. All right, guys, got it all back together. Cleaned it up a little bit too while I was in there. I even found some screws that were missing. Beautiful. the washer. Out. Okay. Now I'll have to reset the time for and stuff since I had to disconnect the battery. Holy high steering wheel. I guess I should have adjusted this.
all the instrumentation works beautifully. It's starting to get some temperature in it. It is November 20th now. It is 50 degrees and sunny. Well, it's not sunny right this moment. It was sunny outside earlier. I'm actually shorts and jeans. Not shorts, pants, t-shirt and jeans. So. That's what I get because talking takes a back seat to driving. You know when people talk on their cell phone and then they stop paying attention driving so much. I just stop paying attention talking so much. Don't let down my guard driving. Makes me sound like an idiot, but at least I'm not crashing into things. <laughs> 